Hey guys, Swablicky here today and welcome back to Transport Fever. It has been a lifetime since I posted a video on this channel and also this series, I guess. It's been like three weeks or something. Um, and quite frankly, I just had, a, just had a break. I mean, I guess I probably should have said something, but uh, I mean, I've been playing The Sims and posting it on my other channel. In case you didn't know, I do have another channel and I have Twitter and all that kind of stuff. So you can see what I'm up to. But, you know, just having a break from Transport Fever and Software Inc. and all that. But uh, I was really itching to play more of this. So we're back again. We're back in it. Um, and there was, a, there was a couple of questions about, uh, so why I do things the way I do. No, uh, why I, uh, sort of, when I do, like, the oil lines, why I sort of do unload stops and separate, uh, truck stations and stuff. Because we could just use the same thing. But I found in the previous series, and also when I'm just playing by myself, that if we have them crossing over a lot, it can create a lot of traffic issues. So I tend to just set them up this way. It also means that they have to travel less distance. Because if we did one, if they had to go to over here or we had it in the middle, they'd both have to travel a little bit further. Which, I mean, I guess can be a good thing sometimes, but I guess in this, in 1901, when everything's going really slow, probably not the best idea. Um, right, so I was looking at the sort of, well actually, I'm going to have a look at these. So the lines are all pretty good. They're all pretty good, very, very positive. We're making a lot of money. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the train is doing very well. It is making a nice amount of money, finally. Uh, it's, get, well, it's getting there anyway. Where is it? Here it is. Here's the train. Uh, the, wait, did I fix the, I can't, oh no, it's only got 11 things on it. I need to fix that so it actually has 12, so it can actually do half and half, because I figured that out right at the end last time. Um, 500,000, let's do that. So now it has 12. So at the moment it's not quite half and half, because it's got the extra, well, it's got the extra one there, but it will drop it off once it eventually gets over there. And then it'll pick up 50% of each bit of cargo, that'll be great. Then we're going to take all that grain back again. And it already kind of looks like we could probably increase the train, because we've got 343 things waiting there of grain. Um, we could definitely double track this. I mean, we just don't have that much money right now. Uh, but with this grain coming in, we are producing plastic, which is fantastic. And then I did want to try and take that, uh, plastic to a goods factory, which we could take it to this one, or we had the one that was over here. And I was trying to figure out which way I wanted to do it. Because if we did, if we did try and grab the logs from over here, like I was mentioning last time, we could boat them. We could actually boat them that way. We could go down and come back up. And then eventually we could... Potentially even terraform our own canal with boats or just, you know, do a road with a truck later on. But it could be fun using a boat. I don't know that, that it would be very efficient, but I would really like to try. I don't honestly know if a boat is going to reach here. The oh, look at this. Three million bucks. Man, that train must have made a bunch of money just then. That is good. That is so good. Where is it? Oh, it's already gone. Hello? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that, he hello? I'm trying to click on you. That must have done- Oh, yeah! That's what we're talking about. Alright, cool. So, I mean, let's try it. We got, a, we got a bunch of money now. I think we can probably afford to experiment here a little bit. So, I'm gonna get a road. I'm gonna have it- make sure it joins. So, we've got the connection there to the log or the lumberyard. And we'll take it to about here. And I'm hoping that if we put something here, it'll be close enough in range. And if it's not, then we might just abort this whole plan in general. Let's have a look. So if this goes here, it wouldn't even be close enough. It'd have to be... Oh, it's got to be like there. Okay, so you know what? If we go... Hang on, let's let's adjust this road. If we let, Let's make this work. I want, to, I want this to work. So I'm going to have this here. Have a nice straight road there. Have that come to here. Is that now close enough to the water for it to work? Oh, to the uh, lumber thing to work. Yeah, so if we have this here... It means we do have to terraform in water to this point, but we could actually make it work. Now, this is going to be so expensive. Actually, you know what? It's not... You know what? That's actually not as expensive as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like millions upon million. I mean, it was one million. But that's actually nowhere near as bad as I thought that was going to be. Sweet! That's awesome. All right, cool. <laughs> you know what? That's actually, that's actually not so bad. All right, so we do that. And then uh, we get out the good old cargo harbor. That now just sits right here. Boom. Get that there. So now you can see the highlighting the lumber yard in the background, so that's no problems. So that goes there. Then we need a... I keep clicking on the trains. We need a shipyard, which we'll put... I don't know. I'll put it a little bit further away so it's not, like, blocking that. That'll go there. Then we need another... Whoa. Another shipyard here. And then all we got to do is truck the plastic from here to here, because that'll probably be the easiest way to do it. So we should be able to get a road right here for a harbor pretty easily that will actually service that so that should be pretty good 
We get our little cargo harbor here. Chuck that on. Easy. We could, if we wanted to, even add like uh, passenger stuff to this. Because they're kind of close to each other. So we might be able to utilize that for passenger connection too. Potentially. But let's make sure this works. So we're going to go from here. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to turn this into planks first. I forgot. Oh, no, I totally forgot. Why did I skip that step? Why did I? This is not even going to work now because I totally just ignored the whole step of turning it into planks. Please tell me there's like a... Oh, there's a sawmill right there. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Well, I really should have put the harbor here then. That's kind of a waste because we need to ship it to here and then truck it in. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of... Oops. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that because that will cost me money just sitting there if it's not being used. Like, it, you just have to, uh, spend maintenance costs on that. So it is a big waste of money that I just bought that and then demolished it. But I am gonna just... I, I'll just have to bite the bullet on that one because just not worth it. Now, how close can we get here? We might have to do some more terraforming at this point too. I, why do I keep going to trains? I don't know. So that actually seems to work right there. That's not too bad. So I might just go with this point. So we're going to bring this in. It is going to cost a bit of money as per usual. We know that. There you go. Bring that in there. I don't have much money left, uh, but that's okay. We'll get more money soon, I'm sure. I'm banking on us making money from that trip. Whoa, our money got low. Uh, now, how much does this cost? Uh, 200,000. Actually, not too bad. Is that in range? It is. Okay, good. So we can definitely ship stuff to that. Now I just got to wait for money. <laughs> I've just spent it all. Right, so that is there. Oh, look at Midland right there. That's cool. So that'll go there. That'll be able to deliver that. And then we're just going to get the plastics to here and we're going to get the planks to here. Because I think that's what we need, right? Plastics and planks. And then that will give us goods. Then we can take goods to Jacksonville. Or we could take them... Well, it's not really anywhere else close by. Uh, or Atlanta. We could go down over there. We could actually... You know what? Actually, I wonder if we could ship the goods back. The only problem is... Oh, I guess if the trucks can take planks here and then take goods back to this harbor, we could potentially ship goods to Atlanta. Although it's such a long way, we'd really want to go straight through. Uh, a train would probably be better. Because ship, I don't even think shipping planks, uh, or the logs is going to be very, <laughs> very good. I just kind of wanted to use ships. All right, so anyway, new line, Denver Central. Add state, oh, I haven't built the other one, that's right. Where's the train? I need to make money. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so that should actually make money soon. Did this fill up properly now? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's better. 72, 72. Much better. That's what we should be looking at all of the time. So let's speed that up. Uh, this has got plenty of grain waiting there. It's just quite full. These guys want food, which we could have very easily done by just going here and then there. Um, but we could also go over here. We could take... Oh, we could get um, alcohol and turn it into food. Where can we make alcohol? Uh, I think it was down here, wasn't it? I think I saw it. Or was that something else that we saw? Was it a goods factory? Hmm. I don't know, this map is so big. Uh, no, that makes food again. I thought we had an alcohol thing somewhere nearby. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Grain. We need to take grain there. <laughs> so we could we could use uh, this farm, take it to there, and then take it back there, instead of just doing this. I mean, unnecessary? Yes. Fun? I think so. Right, that, it, that train is about to get the money, so we can place this. There we go. Beautiful. Now we go line, add station, go to here. Oh, could not connect all stations. That's a problem. Oh, it's my train bridge. It's totally the train bridge. Because last time I did this, I was like, oh, we don't need to worry about navigable waters. Yeah, that's literally the only point in which the ship can't get past. Uh, all right, we got to rebuild this train bridge. We actually need to adjust this quite a lot because there's a lot of roads here and I'd probably just want to go above them so we don't run into them. So let's go back to here, and then hopefully we can just raise up all through here like this, right? So we start going up, please. There we go. Come on, I'll go, I'll go above that bit there too, please. That'd be great. All right, that's not what I want. Can I go up here? What I'll do is build the bit that needs to be a bridge first. Okay, it doesn't need to be this high. It needs to be like maybe that high. Is that good? Hello? Why can't I see it? Shouldn't I be able to see it? Oh, there it is. Wait, why can't I see it here? Oh, well, it's not high enough, so... All right, so it's gonna be this high, right. So, we're gonna go from here. No, I don't know why it's trying to do that. We're gonna go from here... All the way across. 300,000. Oh, the train line's over there. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. 
<laughs> some trains over there. All right, then that should... Uh, we'll be able to hook that up. It'll be all right. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. So we'll do this. I'm going to bring this back a little bit. We're going to make this as smooth as we can. So that it is as speedy as possible. Yeah, that's pretty good. Obviously, it slows, has to slow down to 90 there, but that'll be fine. So it comes up here, goes all the way over. I'm going to remove this connection to the depot. Rebuild a section of this so it can be smoother. And then at some point, we're going to need to double track this. Uh, now this guy can go... Oh yeah, that can yeah that can just come down here. That's fine. Easy. All right, so that can still connect if we need it to. It's a very weird placement of that, but let's not worry about it. Right, so that's reconnected. That should also now be connected. It is fantastic. So this is now going to load up on logs. Then it's going to unload logs. Then I'm wondering if we can load up on plastic. If we load up plastic, not plastics, goods. What if we load up goods and then take them to Atlanta? No, that's just not going to be worth it. I would like to take something back in the ship, though. Maybe crude oil. Could we do that? Could we take that back somewhere? If we brought it back to here, is there anywhere that can even use it? What can what can we do here? We can use planks. We could actually just take planks back. But we need planks there. Because <laughs> we need them here, too. Um, we could take... Steel, we could take... I'm just, I'm just thinking of anything nearby that we could really use. Stone? Any stone up here? Mm, over there. Oh, that's marble. That's not stone. Silver mill. Hmm. Because the thing is, the ships are not going to make any money on the way back, and that's not great. What about... Uh, hmm. There's like nothing over here that we can, <laughs> we can process. Are there any cherries? Oh, they're not cherries, they're coffee things. Where is that? Wasn't there some over here? There's some over here. Coffee farm. We could take that to the ship and then ship them. Or we could do it from here. Oh, they're all so far away. I reckon we go from here, or this one, and we truck them up, drop them off here, and then we ship them back. And then they have to go... Wait, where... Where, where were we taking it from there? Then they have to go to here. It doesn't make any sense. We should have a stop here. No, this doesn't make any sense. What we should do is we could take steel because we are producing steel here that we're not using. So maybe we could get steel from here to the dock, I guess, by truck. I mean, we could train it, but then what would the train bring back here? Now, right, let's truck it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set up a whole thing. Let me unpause the game because we don't we, we should still make money while we're doing this. So we're going to get a truck station with a large. Oh, no, no, no. no there we go. Large platform. That's going to go here. Uh, we can extend that pretty easily. So that'll go there. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't know why I did that. That was really dumb. I like to do it this way, like alongside a road, because then you can... Uh, then they don't have, a, have to do a 90 degree turn, and then that can cause a lot of traffic problems. So if we do something like this, it's just a better flow of the road. I guess I don't even need that, so we'll just get rid of that. Um, so that will be where they pick up steel, and then they're going to truck it down to the the thing over there. So we're going to bypass the town like this. And by truck, I mean horse and carted. That will come down to here. Okay, can this like... Oh, I was like, why is this so straight? There we go. You can curve a little bit. Go there and then come up here. Okay, so that will come here. And then we need to do a unload stop here. I'm not too worried. The thing is with trucks, I'm not so worried about trucks running back empty because they're just they're they will be pro like they're not too expensive to run. Whereas ships are going to be very expensive, and if we're not making money in both directions, that's going to be a problem. So this is going to be uh, what are we delivering? Logs to planks, um, to planks, uh, and then well, it's going to be logs. Let's just say logs slash uh, steel boat. A, that's a dumb name. I, I need to... I, I need to work on that. I need to work on my naming schemes. I know you guys gave me some really good suggestions in the comments, but um, clearly I'm not doing that right now. Uh, <laughs> so, we're going to load up on steel. There it is. Oops. No, no, no. Load up on steel and just unload. So this is steel... Uh, to the boat. Steel truck. Sure. Terrible name. Great. That'll go there. So that will take the steel down to the boat. Then the boat will take the steel back to here. Then from here, we need to take it up to there. So, okay. We need to go to here. So we got to go... <laughs> get this guy in alongside the road. And I can... Wait, that's too far away. <laughs> Damn it. It's too far away from this. Let's do a road there. That should be fine. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that's now connected. 
And that will come under here. So then we go from the boat. I mean, we could do a secondary dock just here, but I'm wondering how much these... The, that cost me 2,000? Oh, actually, that's not too bad. We could probably just get... Let's just get another one. Let's forget doing another truck line here, because as, as the boat comes back past, um, we can probably just drop it off. So that'll just be better. So let's go Cargo Harbor here. Hopefully it's close enough. I think it will be. If we put it like here, hang on. Shift it and rotate it just so it's lined up a bit better. Get it as far inland as possible. I think this should be fine. I'm just going to get a road alongside it because it looks nicer. And then like that. Is that close enough? It is. We do have a bunch of weird roads here though. So let's get rid of that. Alright, so that's now close enough there. So we go back to the boat. We go to Midland East is where we're going to now pick up steel. And then we go here. And whoa. What is what is this? Like does a whole thing. I don't know. Whatever. And then it goes to Midland uh, East. Oh, no, Denver. Oh, it went in the wrong order. That's why. Okay, no, sorry. Then it goes here. Okay, that makes more sense. Right, it goes to Denver East, and then that unloads the steel. Right. So it picks up logs, drops them off here to be processed, picks up the steel that's being trucked in, which I might... Oh, I guess I can't really start doing that now, can I? Oh, I guess I can, but it just won't do much. Uh, let's get a depot. I guess I'll put it near Rochester, because it'll just... Then we can use it a little for more stuff. Let's get that. All right, so this is going to have some cargo vehicles, some cargo vehicles, 25 Ks an hour. Pretty good. You can take whatever you want. So I might grab, I mean, is there any difference between these two? Not really, just visuals, right? Yeah, tarpaulin on a flatbed. Flatbed's cool because you can see it. You can see the stuff, you know? Let's go 15 of these. I don't know how many we're actually going to need. So we'll do that and we'll make it that pink. Then we're going to go to the steel truck. They're going to start going. They're literally not going to do anything because we haven't connected the boat yet. Uh, but we could do that now. So let's get a boat. So now we do need a boat that can take both logs and um, steel. So we can take steel there. We can take logs on this one, which is good. So we could use that one. We could also use this one because it can just take anything. Uh, but it's slower and that's slower. So we probably want this guy here. Uh, actually, we need to make sure it's a small boat, because both of our cargo harbors are small. Oh. Uh, okay. You know what? I might upgrade the harbors then, because they're all too small. Right, that's my bad. Alright, let's configure these. Let's delete... Uh, wait, let me make sure I can... Okay, I can buy a large dock. Alright, delete that. Get the larger dock. Oh. There we go. Uh, and then get the larger dock. <laughs> There we go, and then landing, there you go. So we get the large one there, and we gotta do it on all three of them, otherwise it's not gonna work. And then we go delete that. I guess I could have left the smaller one, but I feel like there's no point leaving a smaller dock if we're just gonna not use it anyway, so. There we go, get that on there. And then back down over here, we wanna do the same thing, delete that. Get a large, we could do it like that, that'd be fun. You know, just uh, one that sticks out. It's kind of fun, can I do it? I want it on the side, but like facing, no, not into the land. All right, fine. I'll just do it like that. Otherwise, I feel like it's going to be right in the way. And then we'll get this guy here. Cool. So that should still be connected. Uh, looks like it is, which is good. And then that should mean we can get the larger ship, which is going to be better for us. So we can get this one, I think. So logs and steel, or we can get not those two. Those are two, two tankers. So we can get either of these two. So I guess probably this one just makes more sense. I can't afford it, uh, so let's just, I guess, borrow some money. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So this one here. So buy that, put that on that line. And then I guess we see what happens. There are some logs here. You know what? I might actually say configure. No, not configure. I meant to go to the line. Manage line. Then say here, let's go wait until it's full. And maybe same if, same at middle and east. Alright, because otherwise we're going to be running pretty empty. So it can take 110 things. At the moment, it's, it's assuming it's going to pick up passengers as well. Buddy, you are in for a rude awakening. You are not going to be taking passengers ever. Uh, are you going to turn in there? T turn around? There you go. Alright, there we go. So it's going back there now. <laughs> back to Denver Central, and it'll pick up the logs, which it's almost got enough, actually. That's great. So that'll pick those up. We could actually buy another one. Let's get another one. Uh, let's just let's go whole hog on this. 
this theory of mine that this is going to work. I feel like it's not going to work and it's going to be very unprofitable. But we'll find out. So, these trucks over here should be now running. Do they have anything? They do not. That's kind of the main problem that we're going to have for a while. Because, uh, <laughs> I don't know, is there a connection yet? Or is it just because we don't have any, we don't have any coal stored? We're waiting for the train. Yeah, the train is a little while away. Let's maybe see if we can now double track this. So we're going to go double track here. Are these on the same side? They are. Okay, good. So we're going to double track. So the way this works, it goes to pick up coal and then it picks up that. So really this platform is on the wrong side now. So we need to configure this station. Whoa! What is this? Hello? Oh, I guess this is the elevated platforms mod that I got, but I guess we haven't unlocked any yet because we're not... I don't know, we just don't have any unlocked, I guess. Anyway, that's kind of annoying. Can I, can I not have it like that? Uh, I don't like that. Anyway, let's just build the tracks. Um, so we're just going to do this. We're going to swap what side the iron ore is on. Uh, and then we're going to get the cargo platform here. Like so. So now what we're going to do, we're going to, well, let's, let's double track this section first and then we can sort of rearrange that. So it's going to basically come back up this side and then go straight in up over here. That doesn't need to be there. And come into here like so. And then we signal these. Uh, I'm going to set these as one way as well. Yeah, yeah. I know you can't really do anything right now. That's fine. Uh, and then... Trains are pretty short, so we can probably do quite close together here. And right, then here, we got to go like this and like that. Okay, so now we want to swap what side this is on. Nope. I keep doing the wrong thing. So here, number two, manage line, needs to be on the other side. It needs to be there. And then we also need to connect that back up to the rest of the track. Because it currently is not. So we're going to take this all the way down. I guess as far as we can. Now, actually, so here, the way this works is on the way back it goes there but not on the way out so we don't actually need well i wouldn't i don't yeah we want to go straight here because it doesn't need to go that way so this comes this way and then it can go through like this and then i might just move this out of the way and then we can build all of this up and over wow look at that traffic there dang how much is this going to cost me? 200,000? That's actually not too bad. Building the, yeah, building the, the, the double track is always a lot cheaper than building the initial track, which is nice because it isn't, it isn't cheap. <laughs> so this is going to go all the way down. I am running out of money, so. Now actually here is a good point. This needs to be on the other side, but that's fine because we already have the whole station built, which is really nice because that means we can just configure this um, and manage the line. So number four actually needs to be on number two. So it needs to go on that side instead. So on the way, because we're going to be on the right-hand side track here. So we're going to go past that. We'll pick it up on the way back. We don't need it on the way there. And I've run out of money. Borrowing! Thank God I can take out lots of loans. <laughs> that's the solution to all life's problems. Uh, it's going to come around. And that's going to come all the way down here. To about there. And then that should be good. So now we can go to here. And then we got to go like this and like that. And just do our signals all the way along the track. And then we got to do the appropriate crossovers uh, and the line or like the uh, track switching when we need to. And then it should all just sort of work. And then when we're ready, we can add a second train on. Uh, which I guess we can probably do soon. There we go. And this is just going to go all the way back. This is the most exciting bit of running train lines. And then I've got to reconnect the um, the turns when it goes to the uh, goods factory as well, because that's all kind of messed up at the moment. Go there. Now the reason also, I don't know if I explained this, the reason I'm doing them on this side of the road is so when a train is coming up here, it will stop before the level crossing if it needs to. Otherwise, if you put it here, it will block any traffic driving on the road if it needs to stop for whatever reason. So... It's just a good... Oh, what I save. That's just a good way to do it so that you don't block traffic. I mean, at the moment, it probably wouldn't matter. Because uh, I don't think... That, we don't have that many trains on this line. But if you get a really busy train line where sometimes trains have to wait at signals and all that, it can become a problem. So that's going to come all the way down here. 
And then this is what we need to make sure we sort out. So this is actually wrong right now. But this actually needs to join to the right-hand side track. Like this, that'll be fine. So we can go like this, and we'll just go like that. And this is going to be a one-way track segment to there. And then this is a one-way track segment back again to here. And then that actually doesn't need to cross over like that either. So we need to redo this a little bit too. And that just joins back to this side. And that should be pretty good. Uh, so that's going to go there. Do another one there. The white signal there. And I'll get these two here. And then we just got to make sure that the train can get to the side of the track it needs to be on. Uh, so let's have a look. Because at the moment it's a bit messed up. I think I haven't connected it quite right. So it goes uh, down to here. So number one is obviously correct. Then number two, it can't seem to get to. Uh, I think I actually swapped the side of the track when I didn't need to. So that's my bad. Because I, I think I thought it was picking it up first. Or maybe I thought it was left-hand drive for some reason. That was wrong. Anyway, so it's there. Going there. Make sure the train is on the correct side. Yes, it's looking good. That should be going up that way. Coming back that way. This one's continuing this way. All the way along. And then it should also... Yeah, so it goes past here, doesn't pick up anything. Goes all the way down here, drops it off, and comes back. Cool, so now that is fully double-tracked, I think. What's wrong with this train? No path. Uh, oh, I guess it's technically on the wrong side of the track at the moment, but that's just because I only just double-tracked it. So I think I just need to do this so I can get over to the other side. There you go. That should be fine now. And then I'll just delete that, because we won't need that anymore. Now, this train that I have, what is it? Like, is it good? It's probably not that good, is it? Details. It is um, 75 kilometers an hour. We do have a 100 kilometer hour train that I saw. So if we modify this, let's have a look at our steam trains right now. We've got a 442 Atlantic for 100 kilometers an hour with 700 kilowatts of power. What do we have now? We've got this thing, I think. So the new train has more power and more attractive effort. And it's faster. So overall, it's just a lot better. Obviously, it's going to cost us about twice as much to run. But it means we can go faster. It's also faster than the uh, 10 wheeler. But the 10 wheeler has more tractive effort. But less power. The power could be good because we can take more stuff. So I might do this. Still mediocre. Actually, how long are my platforms? I've forgotten how long I've made those. Because then we can extend the train. Is it 160 or did we do 240? We might have done 240. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can make this train 240 length. Uh, no, not replace. Modify. So we get rid of that, add this guy on, cargo. So we need to go up in twos, otherwise it's just not worth it. So what are we now? 188, uh, 212, 236. So this is basically as long as we can make this train. It's going to cost me 4.8 million to do that. Can I get the money for that? I can. All right. So let's let's do that. Let's do that modification. Uh, manage. Here we go. 4.8 million. Mediocre still. That's good. And then if I wanted to clone that... How much does it cost to clone it, though? I don't know. I just have to build a new one. Anyway, we'll just do the one train for now. It's even bigger. So it should be able to get a nice load of coal in there. 108. Very nice. And then that that's actually really good. So now that should have increased the rate of this line as well. It's only 134, so it's not a lot. We could definitely get more trains on this line if I get more money. Uh, but how much, how much is that going to cost me to get one on this line? That's probably the question. So, if we were to get another train, uh, so let's go cargo, we need to get up to 236 meters long. Um, oh, I've gone too far. So 236 is there. 12.6 million dollars I need for another train. <laughs> okay. Now, how are my beautiful ships going? Are those, <laughs> those making bank? I hope so. This has got 110 logs on it. This has got nothing on it. Did it sell anything just then? Or I think it just... I think it was just... Yeah, There's a ship too. I think it went there and it's going back home now. So this is on its way. Oh, I went too far. It's on its way to here, which has nothing waiting for it. Do these guys have anything? No, they don't. Because there's no... Problem is there's no uh, resources here to produce anything. So they're all kind of running, doing nothing at the moment. So that's going to be a big loss for us. I am interested to see these ships, though. You know what? I'm going to tell the ship not to wait because it's going to be a long time before that actually has enough stuff there. So let's go manage line. We won't tell it to wait here. It can just pick up whatever and then go home. 
Uh, but this will be interesting. So we're going to dump the logs. Oh, dump, yeah, dump the logs, turn them into planks. And then the planks, we need to take over to here. No, we need to take them to... Wait, where am I taking them? Yeah, to here. And then we take the plastics here as well. Okay, let's set that up. Because that'll also be a really good thing to do. So then what, what we want to do is go for a road. No, a road. That goes from here. Let's go... Uh... I we'll just go under here. If we go under... Oh, I've got no money. Never mind. Well, we'll go under here and then we'll end up over here. This is also a really busy road. There's a lot of cars on here. We could probably start setting up passenger services. Because it seems like we've got a lot of people wanting to move around. And we could probably make a bit of money from that. Moving people from Jacksonville to Midland. Because that kind of looks like where they're going. If we have a look at our vehicles here. Um... Wait, how do you know? It's the... There's another destinations. So it's very busy between these two roads here. And I think this one here is all these three towns are quite quite busy. Actually, all the four of them. Oh, Simiville. Simi Valley, not Simiville. Simi Valley. Oh, that's where I've been for the past few weeks. It's just playing Sims. <laughs> um, alright, so that's there. Yeah, this little four four towns. Looking like a pretty good. We could do something with this. Could we do like a a big circle, a big, a big loop? I just don't know the best way to do it. Oh, look at this. $2.6 million we just earned. Okay, cool. So with that money, I'm going to assume did that just drop off stuff here? Oh, here we go. Now we've got some steel. As long as this doesn't get overloaded, I don't think it will, will it? It's going to run out of stuff before this overloads, which we'll probably need to make that bigger later on. But anyway, now they're going to go pick up a bunch of steel, which is fantastic. So that'll pick up the steel, that'll eventually take it down here. And then my ship can eventually get it. Alright, here we go. We're dropping up 110 logs. Is this enough money to pay for the boat? <laughs> here we go. And it's gonna make us a whopping. I can't see that thing's in the way. 765. Um, yeah, okay, that, that would actually be profitable. If we could then also have a full load of stuff on the way back, that'd be very good. And I'm wondering, can I just dig a canal here? How much is that going to cost me? Because <laughs> it would be very good. This is tiny, this little thing. Um, I need to delete this road though. So let's go here, through the middle. Uh, oh yeah, this is expensive. But this is the beginnings of our shipping canal. Alright, there goes all my money. I probably shouldn't have spent it on that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I can't leave it like that now, so I have to finish it. Now this is a coffee island here. Um, so that's cool. Alright, so I do want to set up, I think we'll probably do a train line uh, for these towns, because Midland and Jacksonville especially, they're pretty big. I think if we could get a train that comes maybe from the front here somewhere, or we could do it, it doesn't have to be right there, it could be maybe a little bit further out. Maybe from like here somewhere, have the train come this way, and even come along where this sort of harbour is, and we could add a passenger thing onto that later. That'll be here, that'll connect up to Midland, and then the train could go... If we do these two, then how do we get to those? Kind of a bit... Maybe we use Midland as a bit of a hub. Like, if we turn this into a, a passenger place as well, we could have a, a train station here, and one branch goes to Jacksonville, the other one goes up to Rochester, and maybe that one then continues over to Simi Valley. Or maybe the Jacksonville one. No, the Jacksonville one I think we'll take down this way. And then the other one could go up here, and then sort of go around the back to Houston. And then maybe they can both reconnect down here somewhere. I don't know. Let's let's work on that. All right. Well, we got two two point six million. So let's see what we can do. Let's maybe make this place a little bit nicer. Let's make some of these roads bigger because I feel like later on I'm gonna want them to be bigger. So let me pause real quick. Uh, I'm gonna delete this road, and that's gonna get deleted too. Uh, that's all right. So let's build um, a road that goes along the front here. Like that. And then we can expand this harbor to have passenger stuff in it. Then I want to have a nice big train station here. i got to wait for the autosave to be done. We want to have a really big train station uh, in the middle here as well. Uh, oh, I was going to make sure that this is still connected, by the way. I, I will, don't worry. It should be fine if I get a big train station. If we go like a passenger train station with like six tracks, right? If we did this, I think we can connect it through the middle. And if it doesn't work, I'll just demolish it and we'll not do that. So I'm doing six tracks. I don't know that we'll ever need six tracks, but I'm doing six tracks. So let's flip around. Line it up with the road. It's that big, beautiful road that we have here. Uh, then I also want to have... 
Oh, I need like trams and stuff maybe. Maybe if we move it back. Hang on, let's go. So this is our road. Then we need a tram station. So we're going to go electric tram tracks like this, right? But maybe we need two on both sides and it's going to be like this. So this goes here and then the train station goes in here, right? And that can connect up to that very easily. Then what we can do with the train station is because it does have pathways there. If you do a building on the other side, that should connect it to the road. And then once it's connected to the road, this all should be connected through the middle still. <laughs> but I think we might need to do a tunnel <laughs> for the, uh, the thing. But I think this will be really cool. This will be like a really cool hub. So I want to make sure this works. So let's go here. Let's go passenger buildings. Nice big passenger building. Let's get, oh, the other one's even bigger. No, I want to change this one then. We can't have a bigger building on the other side. Or can we? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Oh. Yeah, look at this train station. Very cool. Alright, so now this is connected over the other side. But what we need to do... It seems kind of weird that there's a big building over here with no road. So maybe let's do a big road over here as well. No tram tracks, please. Let's go here. Now I'll come along there. And then I guess this can just be a crappy dirt road. I think this needs... We're going to need to go underneath because I don't... <laughs> I don't think this is going to be... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how... This, <laughs> there's no way this is connecting to that without some sort... You can see how this does connect to all of this. And it even does reach the road over here. So I'm wondering actually if I do this. Does that... See that doesn't reach here. We need some stop in the middle uh, for this to get over there. But the, we could pick up stuff from the train, or even the tram this would deliver to, but it just quite doesn't reach this, which is a shame. So what we're going to need to do is, I'm going to delete that. We need to go over here somehow. Maybe what we could do actually would be kind of cool. Also, I want to get a second road on this actually, just there, so we can have two entrances. I wouldn't mind like having a cargo truck depot thing somewhere. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work. So at the moment, I know this is all kind of in the middle of nowhere. But it will hopefully all come together in time. Like and make more sense. So for now, like for example, this is just going to go into this road. Uh, I would like it to be curved though. It would be a bit nicer. I wonder if these should have been one way. Like so they could sort of go in one way and come back out the other way. I don't know. Anyway, so for now it's going to do like something like this. Right? So it does that and then uh, passengers can just walk straight through. They can get down to here, and then we will do like a passenger thing on that as well. And then this tram, this tram will basically take people from the train station to, uh... Oh, did I not do... Oh, those are cargo terminals, that's fine, we'll change that. Uh, we will then take them from the, that tram into town, so I need to change this because I've made it as cargo. <laughs> Which is already not what I wanted. Uh, can I not delete just the cargo stuff? Oh, I am, okay. Okay, so what this is now going to do is actually give us way more room. Because it's like a little bit further away from everything, which is fine. Okay, so we do that. Uh, we got the little part. There's like a pathway there, but not one on this side for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, so now it's actually passenger. That makes more sense. That goes there. Then we need to have like a cargo drop-off point. Let's maybe configure this guy and make this. Let's get rid of one vehicle in the way. What vehicle is in the way? Oh, is that just coming in? Oh, that's annoying. Damn, I, was, I wanted to do the passenger stuff now. Uh, I mean, I guess I can. We can still do a passenger platform. If we go... Let's get a uh, passenger building. You don't need the passenger buildings, but I think it just looks nice to have them. So let's get one on here. And then we'll get the passenger thing here. And I hope... I, can I terraform after this is already here? Please tell me I can. Okay, good. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I can. I just ran out of money. That's fine. Okay, cool. So that's fine. So that'll go there. That, this is where the passengers will go. So then, if I do like a thing over here... I need more money. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Then I would like to have this on the ground. Because then what we can do is actually get the cargo drop-off point here. So this will be no tram tracks, one cargo platform. And this will just be a drop-off platform that goes like here somewhere, right? Just like that. Can't expand it, so hopefully we don't need to. And then we're going to get the road. And this is going to go down. Uh, sure. And it's going to go under. Or not. Please. Hello. Man, that took a took a while to go under. Go like that. And then if I actually just, you know, maybe lower that. There we go. Can I turn this as we do that? I 
can. Okay, cool. So let's go down here. That's better. And then this is just going to go under all of this stuff. Please stay underground. I didn't say you could come back up. Hello? Hello? Stay underground. There we go. That's going to go all the way under. It seems a little silly, but I think it's kind of cool. So $200,000 just to do that. And then it's going to come up over here somewhere. Actually, we guess we could, we could just come up here. Um, I guess if I take that back a little bit. Because there's no reason I couldn't just go here. No, no, no. You got to stay... Hang on. Stay down to there. Yeah. And then maybe here. Oh, I'm colliding with the train station. All right, now I need more money. So now we resume the game again. The problem is that none, none of this is connected, so it's going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, oh, there we go. I got some money. Pause it. <laughs> and then can I just connect this up to this road? It'd be a lot easier if I could just go like this and then go down. Okay, so that will connect if I do this. I just need the 80,000. Oh, I'm like 1,000 off. All right, so do that. And then this goes to there. Right, so now... Oh, this is not connected here. <laughs> I've just completely disconnected this. This will go from here to there. And they go straight through. I probably should have made these like a normal road, so it looks better. There we go. That goes to there. They can go straight through. It goes under. The cargo goes to there. <laughs> Right, this is not connected, so we still need to do uh, something to make this work. We got some pedestrian entrances here, so the problem is um, that the cargo harbor, the footpath is too far. There we go. Now join. I've done. I've done this whole road here. I'm wondering if we can get it to connect without doing that. I don't really want this road going through there. Um, it, the the distance between this and that is just too far. But if we have that, <laughs> this actually did work. So. With those entrances. I wonder if I could get rid of some of those. But um, I wonder if we can go... If we can just get a, t a really simple tunnel from here to there. I'd actually... That'd be fine. I'd be okay with that. So if we go... Hang on. Delete that for a second. So let's just go from here to there. And if I can actually tunnel under... Yeah, that, that would... I would be very happy if this worked. I don't... It's not ideal. But if that worked for a connection system... So currently doesn't. But then if we do the road here... It should... Hopefully, oh, oh, it's auto saving. It should hopefully then reconnect, please. Auto save, man, auto save takes so long on this map size. Come on, save. There it is. Okay, so now, really, that that's too. F oh no no, wait, hang on, what? How come clicking there doesn't show it? All right, but it does have a connection now. Can I then also delete all this weird extra stuff here because it looks kind of dumb? If I can get rid of these extra ones, I'd be happy. All right, so close that for a second. Steel truck. What's wrong with my steel truck? Where are they trying to go? Oh, yeah, I deleted the, the drop-off point. That's right, I forgot about that. I did that a while ago. Is that... Uh, did they figure it out? Manage line. Uh, number two is over... They're going all the way over there. No, no, no. Number two is here, please. Get rid of that one. There we go. So they go to there, they drop it off. Good. So... Uh, wait, hang on. No, we're trying to take- no, 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 wait, oh, no, 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 I did that wrong, sorry. No, this is the steel truck, not a log truck, what am I doing? You go to there, there you go, yeah, so they use that tunnel and drop it off there. Perfect. We can get rid of that, we don't need that. Alright, so that makes more sense. So that goes- they come down this way, they go underneath, they come around, they drop off here, and then these guys should hopefully- I mean, it, I'm confused because it doesn't say it's connected when I click from that side, but I think it's fine. So I'm hoping now- the logs are still connected because otherwise this sort of stopped producing. So let's just have a look. Consumers is still here. So I think we're good. So I think this is all connected again. This is, uh, it is looking very complicated and not, and not nice. Like it doesn't look very neat. Um, I don't really like having these two intersections right here either. That's not ideal. So I think maybe if we could change that up, um, that'd be good. But I don't really know a good way to do that. Unless this just sort of also joined to that same intersection, but then it'll just be a bit messy. I mean, nothing needs to use this road, so there's that. Like, they don't need to use this road. I mean, but the thing is, pedestrian cars might start using it. All right, let's at least set up a rudimentary train, because otherwise all of this was for nothing and we're not going to make any money. So <laughs> let's actually get some sort of train going here. We need to wait for some money to roll in now, because I've just spent a lot of it. Uh, so I'm hoping... Where's my next ship? So that one's going back. Next one is... Jeez, it's only here. Okay, it's gonna take a while before that rolls in. Okay, well, we're gonna, we, gotta, we gotta wait for that. The train is over here. We only need 12 million to get another one, but this should give us a good paid... Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> I 
That should give us a really good payday when that rolls in too. And then all these trucks should hopefully be... No, they're not dropping off steel yet. Do you have some? You don't have any. Do they not pick up any yet? Or did we already do that and we've already missed it? Or... Hmm. It is all gone. Did we already take it over here? Oh wait, did this shit... Did, did you pick it up? No. Where did it all go? Did I... Maybe I broke it when I deleted the connection. That might have... That might have been the reason. Oops. Alright, anyway, we're gonna get some more, so hopefully that does work. Man, we got minus 5.5 million income at the moment. And our count is minus 1.9 million. <laughs> yeah, look, I spent a lot of money. Uh, the train is currently minus 2 million, but it will make the money right now. Uh, there it goes, 4.4 million. Dang, that's a good payday. Right, so this should start producing steel again, which it is. That means that is connected and functioning, which is good. Now we can connect up a train line. I gotta figure out which one we're gonna do. I guess we'll use this this one here because it'll go straight along to here, to Jacksonville, which I think we'll do the station here on this side. Otherwise it's gonna be slightly in a terrible spot. So let's go train station, uh, buildings. We're gonna do a passenger one with two tracks, so 240 meters, flip it round. I'll have it a little bit out of town. So it'll be about here and then we'll do like a tram on this side of it. And then we'll just connect these guys up. So, hopefully this all... Now, I would actually not like to... I mean, I would like to not interfere with this other train line. So I'm thinking if we can go... We go up maybe, just go over it a little bit. Hang on, let me cancel that. Let me do that again. If we go here... I mean, that is already sort of elevated, so I'm wondering maybe going down is better? The thing is, there's going to be a lot of elevation change here no matter what. I guess we could just do a level crossing. No, I guess what we really need to do is actually extend this bridge a little further. That might be a better way to do it. So I might actually just get rid of this for a second. Because uh, this bridge could extend further and actually bridge over this road as well. Uh, that just might be a better way to do it. Although, I guess the only problem with that is now this bridge... Our train is actually faster than that bridge. Actually, no, it might not be because the cargo wagons might be slower. Because that bridge has a speed limit of uh, 90 kilometers an hour and our train could go 100, but it might actually be limited by the cargo wagons. Right, so that's going to go there. Now, I am going to double track it, though I'm not going to run two trains right now because there's literally no point. Uh, this might already be too overkill to do this, to have <laughs> a train at all here, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how we go. Right, so this is now going to come over all of this, even this road over here. We're going to stay level. Yeah, there we go. So it's all going to be this bridge. At some point, we're going to have to upgrade this because it's just not going to hold up. It's going to try and line that up a bit better to there. Make sure that's still all elevated, looking good. Basically, just a big aqueduct of a train line now. Uh, but it works. So that means those two trains don't interfere with each other. There's no problems. And then let's just take this all the way back. And then we'll connect it up here. And that should be good. So we get those guys to go there. We're going to get the signals back in so we don't forget about them. There they go. And we'll get some over here. At some point, we can get a second train on this line. I don't know what that point will be. But it will be some point. Alright, so then we're going to go... I guess we're going to have the track switch here somewhere. So I'll do the signals at that point. One there. I'm hoping that they actually want to use this train and it's not been a colossal waste of time. I mean, they will eventually want to use it, uh, but it just is a matter of when they want to use it. Because sometimes it takes a while for these things to pick up in game. So we'll see how we go. So we'll do a crossover there. And we'll do a crossover back in this way as well. Like that. Right, so that should allow us to now do a new line from here to there. Cool. And they are on the correct side. That's all looking pretty good to me. So this is, what are we got? Where are we going from Jacksonville to, uh, to, uh, what is it? Midland. Uh, Jacksonville, Midland. Sure. That's a great name. Great name. Right. We need, do need a train depot connected to this somehow. Uh, maybe if we have it off to the side of the train station back over here. So we had like a train depot here. That's to be a little bit further back just so we can actually... So if I do it like here, for example, then we have all the tracks. We can then connect this up to pretty much all of them. Uh, we can like feed all the lines, so that'd be pretty cool. 
Now, yeah, that's good. That's on the correct side. So now, well, I, I need to connect up the rest of this first. Although no one can get to this yet. Like, there's no passenger that's going to use this because it doesn't connect anywhere. And the same over here. <laughs> so, this is like a whole process of just getting everything set up. So we're going to do uh, this without the cargo platforms this time because I made that mistake last time. All right, that's going to go there. And then we're going to go uh, tram and bus stop. So it's going to stop there. And then we need to stop basically uh, in industrial, commercial and residential. But this town is so small that we don't really need to do too many stops. We'll probably do one stop here and then one down the bottom. And then that should be fine. Uh, and then we'll just set up like a really simple loop for this to work. I'm going to do electric tram tracks. I'm going to do a larger road, I think. Just because we can. So it's going to come back up this way. Oh, I need a road on this side as well. So we can actually get to it. There we go. And then that will go up to here. And uh, can I get that to be straight, please? There we go. Is that going to... Mm, not ideal, but whatever. Should I upgrade? No, I can't afford to upgrade. What am I doing? Can't afford to make roads wide at this point in time. I'm not rich yet. All right, that's gonna come down this way and it's gonna go back up the other side. So that should be our little tram loop here. So we go from here to there, down to here. And this is Jacksonville tram. I should probably start doing some shorthand at some point as well. And then this is gonna need the tram depot, which will go here, sure. And then this is going to have a 25 kilometer hour tram. We'll get one because right now it's not going to be doing much, uh, but we'll get that looping around. Then that goes to here. So that should, yeah, that's all joined. That's good. And then down here, we need to connect this tram down to Midland. So that's going to be the uh, expensive little task for us here. Can we do a bridge right from this point? That'd be fantastic if I could. I can just go straight bridge. Like right over this point. Hello? Does this have a snapping point on it? Oh, there it is. Like, if I could go here, but didn't go, like, up... Uh... Can I? That'd be way too... That'd be way... Oh, wait! I was gonna say that'd be way too convenient, but I think it is actually working. Hang on, let me restart that. Oh, come on. I mean, I don't like that... <laughs> how steep it is. I guess what we could do... We could just adjust this main road here because it doesn't actually need to be here. So why don't we adjust this? So then we can sort of work, rework that section there too. So uh, we could have a tram bridge. I mean, the main road there, we don't really need it. So we could just completely scrap it. Uh, but what I will do is I'll say from, let's just try and build the bridge where I need it and then connect everything else to it. So let's say if we go up, uh, hello? Uh, okay, so up. Well, hang on, let me do the thing where we build a bridge and then we can connect to it. Sometimes that makes it a little bit easier to do this stuff. Why is this going down so much? What are you doing? Say flat, please. Um, I feel like it doesn't need to be that high though, does it? It could be like here and then... Yeah, like that is already pretty good. Yeah, if we do go to like there, and then we can fix the other side in a minute. And then this main road, we take off tram tracks and just put it on the ground here. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Just stay- what- what are you doing? <laughs> uh, so we go to- let's say level to here. Hang on, we need to make sure this is all connected between the two, yeah. Like that. And then can this- well, hang on. Uh, electric. I'm gonna just have this go straight. Okay, what is this doing now? Why is this so cooked? It's like all over the place. Make up your mind whether you're going up or down, please. <laughs> stay on ground. Oh my god. Just stay on the ground. Like, we get to the ground and stay there. There we go. Alright, let's do that. Then we say, no, this one will connect straight to there. So that will go up a little bit. That's. Can I actually make that a little higher? I want to have this higher up. But it doesn't seem to want to... Because I don't like the little bump we're getting there. Uh, but we might just have to deal with that. No, I mean, I guess it's not so bad. Okay, and then this road will continue out over this way and do whatever it does later on. So for now, we have the tram that just sort of goes straight through this intersection and goes up over to this bridge. Uh, I just don't know. I guess it's going to have to come down here somewhere and sort of connect through that point. I don't know. We haven't, I haven't really figured that bit out yet. 
I also need to cut this road a little bit so I can just get the uh, bridge how I want it. So delete that bit, delete that bit. Yeah, there we go. And then we gotta go here. And this is gonna go all the way across, I guess, to, yeah, one of these roads. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Now, we gotta make sure we keep the navigable waters here, because that's kind of important. There we go. So I can go under there. Uh, I guess the one section there is fine. We do that. 300,000. Can- do you reckon we could rebuild this section to have it look good? Like, and have it fit? Or do you reckon this is- I've just scuffed it completely and it's not gonna work now? Ah, oh, it does look good. That's better. So it comes up, it does do a little turn, comes across, down here, and then we can get straight into Midland. Oh, that's great. That is actually really, really- I'm actually really happy with that. And then at some point I would like to widen all the roads here, because I think it's gonna be a little thin. Let's figure out where we need to go. So industrial here, that's perfect. We'll do like a stop here. Then we'll have one, I guess probably down this end of town, then maybe one here on the way back. Uh, yeah, that'll work. So we'll do three stops in this one. So we're gonna come straight down here. It's gonna go straight up this road, stop there. And stop over this side of town. Then it's gonna stop down this side of town. And that should give us a pretty good coverage. So that gets all of that. That gets pretty much all of that. And then this gets down here, which I think we kind of already got, but it's, I think it'll be fine. Uh, and then at some point we'll probably have this go the other way, but right now we don't need that. So let's not worry about that. So we're gonna go new line, start from here. We're gonna go straight up to there, over to there, and to there. So this is now the Midland tram. Okay, so that's good. We could even just have that as a tram depot right here now. Or we could do it here, maybe over this way a little bit. Cause it doesn't need to be in town. It could be over here with all this other stuff. I don't know, I guess this area is pretty cool. Should we put it on this intersection? Doesn't really fit, does it? Hmm. Can I get it here maybe? It looks really dumb. Yeah, it doesn't really fit over here, actually. Ooh, <clears throat> excuse me. It doesn't really fit over there. Uh, so the tram line comes up here, and it's gonna have to go down there. There's not really a good place to put it. I guess it could just go on this road now. If I just have tram line on this road somewhere, that'd probably be fine, too. So why don't I put it... I could put it with this other guy over here. We have, like, a tram depot next to this as well. And then it's sort of... I don't know, that's kind of cool. They're like sort of next to each other there. And then we go streets, electric, uh, and then we go here. And then we just upgrade this portion of the road. Sure, I mean, at some point maybe we'll have trams on this actual road. But for now, I'll just be like that. I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna connect it there yet because I just don't want to. Right, so let's get maybe like three of these, five of them. I don't know. I don't know how many we need, but we're gonna get them. Uh, <laughs> I got five. <laughs> And then they are gonna go... Oh, right, I haven't actually done the tram line yet. Whoops. So now we need to upgrade all the roads to actually have trams. Uh, so it's gonna go through here. Through the main section of town. There, it's gonna come down. And then along the coast here. And then back across. That should be pretty good. And then now we should be able to go back into here. Put these guys onto the Midland tram. Beautiful! Now we also need a train, otherwise this is still going to be pretty useless. So, can I still take out a loan? <sighs> not, not a big loan, so... I can't get much of a train, let's have a look. Uh, the 10 wheel, uh, we could, what's the cheapest thing we could get here? No, we don't want to go too slow, probably this one that we had before, the 260 Mogul, would be pretty good. And then we could get the cheaper cars, because we're not going to be going that fast anyway. It's still going to be like, if we want to, it's a small train, it's $3.6 million. So I need to wait for my train to go make some money. Uh, and then hopefully, we do have people waiting already to be moved around. So hopefully that'll all work. And hopefully, this train, where is my train? I need to make another train, because it would make so much money. Uh, the train is pretty good, there it is. Yeah, it's, it's the most profitable thing we have. Everything else is kind of not doing great. My steel trucks, no, nah, not great. My trams, not great, but I only just made them, so that's fine. I'll just give them, give them some time. Uh, I think these trams actually make a bit of money because there are people waiting on these stops. There's obviously no one that's going to want to go here, so there's going to be people riding on the tram to here and then coming back down because this doesn't go anywhere yet. Now, is this still connected? It is. I probably should have checked that sooner, but it still is connected. So that's good. And we still have navigable waters. I really hate how they're doing all these like flip de loops and changing sides of the river, like, what, what is the point of going from here 
to there and then back again. Just stay there. I don't I don't know why. They do that a few times. Maybe because the rivers are quite thin and the game can't quite work it out. I don't know. Also, I wish I didn't waste a bunch of money on this. I will come back to this and we will make it good, but it'll probably be a while. I mean, just imagine how much time we could save with this shortcut. And then later on, if we actually did one that went all the way through, like through the middle here, that'd be sick. All right, we got 3.4 million. The train has made a bit of money. I can't take out any more money. We've got a $30 million loan right now. Uh, so how much was the train I was looking at? It was, uh, if we get three of these and then the engine, it was 3.6. Oh, so close. I mean, I guess we could start with two just so we get a train running. Uh, Jacksonville to Midland. All right, let's see what happens. So there is now a pedestrian or passenger connection. It's actually someone waiting here anyway for the tram. Uh, how's this tram going? It could, yeah, probably use more than one tram. I put one on it. <laughs> let's maybe get a few more. Let's get like three more. No, let's get four more. So it's the same as the other one. Hello? Where do they go? Oh, did I not buy it? I might not have bought them because I just went negative, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. Minus $400,000. All right, we gotta wait for this train again. Uh, we're living paycheck to paycheck right now. You gotta spend money to make money. That's the thing, you know? All right, so it's picking up the coal, 108. And then it'll pick up 108 uh, iron ore. We could definitely get another train on here. I really, maybe I should have just focused on that just to get the train going, because then that would have been making so much money. That's okay, whatever. That's making plastic. My ship's uh, doing something. Oh, it's got some, oh, it's gonna make money soon. Are these profitable? Like, are they, are they making money over time? <laughs> well, like, what's going on here? Because I wonder if like that, I guess if you stack these up a little bit, maybe just, but that's why we also want them delivering steel on the way back so they actually do make money. Um, and we should hopefully, be getting some steel soon, right? Here we go, yeah. So now all coming back with some steel, which is fantastic. So we finally have something. Do we still have some waiting though? So they've got it all. The ship is on its way. I might actually tell it to wait a bit because it's gonna get there before the stuff there. So manage line. Let's see if I can tell it to wait. And then the maximum waiting time is three minutes. So it won't wait forever, but it will wait a decent amount of time to hopefully pick up enough steel. That'd be great. Oh, I love this. I love this bridge. It just sort of just gets over that. That's perfect. And we're not going to have any other stinky, like, like regular people using it. Like, look how busy this bridge is. It's way too- oh my god, it's so steep as well. I probably should smooth that out because all my trucks are using it. I wonder if I could get my trucks to use this, this other bridge, but it's not really- they don't have to connect it and then everyone would use it. Hmm. Yeah, it's not ideal. I guess we could add more lanes that might help. I think smoothing out this bridge as well, so it's like more flat would obviously make a big difference too. All right, here we go. Here comes the ship. We got minus 2.1 million dollars. Sweet. And... We got minus less million dollars now. That's pretty good. But 36 steel. Nice. They're making money. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So this train has got zero people on it. Anyone on this? Seven. Yeah, there you go. So that means there's actually people potentially coming. Yeah! You know what? I might change the drop-off point to the other side because I, that would make more sense. So, whoops. This guy, is this, what sub number is this? Number one. Can we change that to the other side? Yeah, that makes more sense. So then they get off here instead of there and it's just closer. All right, cool. And then actually over here, is that the same deal? Oh yeah, that's fine. Does this have anyone on it? Oh, one person. Sweet. All right, I need to get, I need to get more trams here. Can I look how many people are waiting? We got forty eight people there. They have to wait for this one tram to do a loop and then hopefully not be full when it comes back again. Oh, here we go. We got money. The train. The train has delivered. So let's get another. So we got one. Let's give it, maybe go up to eight. So we'll get seven. I know it's. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. I did the wrong one. I know that's a lot of trams for this small loop. But just to get the people moving, yeah, because we got we got the big person icon, which brings up 55 people there. This one's got 72 people, so this one also needs more trams. So let's go here, buy vehicles. We've got how many? Five? Let's get another 10, so we'll have 15. Now, at some point, that'll probably end up being way too much. That might even be now. That might already be too much. But we'll see how we go, because we just need to feed the train with passengers. Like, we've got 10 people waiting here now, which is fantastic. That's really good, because if we can get more people on the train, the train will make more money. Which, by the way, I'm going to manage this train and add another passenger thing, because I feel like we should probably have more on it. 
another two there you go. it's got four so that's a bit better so yeah the more people we can carry the more we'll make and the, the less the running cost will be affected well not that doesn't make sense but i mean the more yeah it just makes sense <laughs> if we can carry more things on one engine it's going to be way better six people great but we do have a bunch of people here potentially all of these people waiting to go to the train and and go to uh midland so that's gonna be good these guys are all way too close together if you guys just want to spread out a little bit that'll be probably pretty good oh we've got money look at this are you picking up we got 50 people still there we go come on let's get the number down 44 they're all just here at this stop now <laughs> All bunched up there. That's great. Uh, these guys, yeah. The thing is, we might already have too many just because they're so they're all like really close together. That'll be interesting though. Anyways, so we've just only got this. That that took a long time to just set up this hub because now we we I know it's not much of a hub right now. At the moment it's just tram and train. But with this, we can add all the other train lines. We can then add the passenger ferry here as well, which would be really cool. We could potentially do a ferry service that goes down here. Um, and then I don't know where else maybe up north somewhere. I don't know. It's just there And then if we could do a, an airport over here as well at some point, that'd be really cool I think that'd be fantastic. Oh, look at all this money. <laughs> yeah So let's have a look. How are we going? A train not profitable yet Midland tram not profitable yet steel trucks nearly profitable actually Not anymore. They nearly were uh, The Jacksonville tram is nearly profitable too. That's all pretty good. The ships are actually making money as well. Which is impressive. I did not really expect that. This has got zero things on it, so I guess it waited there for ages and didn't pick up anything. So that's that. This has 53 steel on it though, so this is finally going to get something. That's good. That's exciting times. As we start making more and more money, I want to start doing longer, longer journeys. Like have a train that just goes really far. Because uh, we've got such a big map to play around with, that's going to be exciting. Uh, but I'm going to leave this part here. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below. And have an awesome day.